To close out day two of Inspired, we now welcome Irfan Kalani, founder of Code to Enhance Learning Trust. Irfan empowers schools to bring coding to kids by supporting them with curriculum and training features. Welcome, Irfan, over to you. Thank you very much, Anu. Uh, I think it was a wonderful discussion like you know that we had right now. Uh, just learning about what kind of different resources we could have uh, so that there is not an incremental growth, but we start like leapfrogging. I'm going to share my screen. Uh, let me know if you are able to see it. Hello. Uh, can you hear me as well? Okay, great. Uh, firstly, thank you. Uh, hello. Yes, hello. we can hear you and we can see you as well. Super, great. Uh, firstly, thank you very much for uh, uh, like uh, inviting me here for uh, taking this closing of the wonderful day two of Inspired Ed. Uh, I think uh, yesterday we were talking about what are certain uh, areas where like, you know, school and schooling is getting affected. Uh, and today it was a wonderful day where we thought about that, how we are going to rebuild the future and it's not going to be just like coming back to the norm, but going like, you know, beyond it because the norm was not something very inspiring for us. Uh, and we, and, and the another part was like, which was very exciting, uh, which was about like, you know, what your purpose or how you are going to see yourself when we are going to rebuild uh, this future. So I think we went through a number of like, you know, different sessions and speakers and there were a lot of information like, you know, which was given to us very wonderful, but I think I would love to have a practice or we could start this clo closing by uh, just 30 seconds of maybe meditation or just like, you know, uh, just breathing in and out and going through all the things that we had, like, you know, from 4 p.m. up till now. Um, and maybe then we could like, you know, use the chat box uh, uh, to share about our experience. So, yeah, let's take 30 seconds. And you can keep your eyes open, feel the joy. You can keep your eyes closed as well. Okay, we'll come back in five, four, three, two, and one. I hope this would have given you a chance to like, you know, come back with all the memories and try to be in present, uh, maybe like, you know, bring your core again in the center uh, and moving ahead. Uh, it was a very wonderful day. Uh, we started with, uh, the session uh, about widening, like, you know, the widened gap uh, by Rukuja and Ria, where there were certain disheartening um, statistics which were presented to us. Uh, I saw, like, in one of the chat box, it was written that uh, the statistic around corporal punishment, like, it was really disheartening to see that, and I was able to echo with it. Uh, but with that, we started also moving towards how now, like, you know, we are going to bridge uh, this immense gap uh, which COVID has created and which was already like, you know, there in our classrooms. Uh, and uh, I just shared in the beginning as well that now it's not just the time which I like, you know, picked uh, from the whole uh, conversation or the lecture like, you know, that we had of incremental growth, but how we can start having leapfrogging. Uh, which is a very research-based thing, uh, which has like, you know, I have read about it. Uh, and I think 
the another thing was how much it is important to bring all the stakeholders together and it's going to be a task which we all have to like you know do it together uh, then we moved ahead and saw something about how the rural india and the urban india are trying to uh, do different things or different strategies they have used uh, where like you know one of the things which i really liked was about using doordarshan and akashwani it was one of the uh, highly resourceful ways Uh, to reach out to children when they were not having access to digital devices uh, as we moved ahead uh, we saw like you know there were two wonderful fellows uh, they shared their story about uh, how they have started working with uh, the preschoolers in an environment uh, where like you know they were not physically present with the children and virtually reaching out to them i felt uh, it was one of the courageous and very inspiring thing uh to like you know go and work with toddlers uh, we know like you know how they are and how much amount of patience we need to have uh, and in the end there were like you know wonderful conversation we had uh, with gayatri and the team about amazing strategies which i think people could uh, if available in open domain could take out into their classrooms and see that how differentiated learning could be done in the classroom and again it's not about just that incremental step by step growth but how we could have accelerated learning in the classroom so with that the whole day i would love to hear something about like what was one thing that really touched your heart in the day two of the inspired ed and you can use the chat box or maybe you can write it in the youtube uh, text box like you know which is there and i would be reading out uh your experiences if someone could help me in the uh, yeah so i think one of the things someone has written it down uh, that the sessions were really insightful uh, yeah they were really insightful uh, bridging the gap ruler and urban india how can we strike a balance uh, because there are so many people living in the rural areas as well so there is a need to strike a balance uh, between the different like you know uh, geographies that we work in uh, thank you Uh, Vijay Lakshmi for sharing your thoughts. Elizabeth, different ideas to engage parents and innovations in rural and urban India. Yup. <coughs> Chaitra, all the sessions were very informative, and we are really grateful to all the speaker for creating like you know this kind of a content, uh, which made us feel really happy and has given us certain like you know steps where we could move ahead. yeah so bala for me also like you know this was one thing which really touched where i saw the girl having the solar panel and the project uh, and just carrying it with so much hope and uh, maybe joy what she has created uh, moving ahead i would love to hear like you know uh, all the read out all the responses but i think in the interest of time uh, there is one more question i have for you uh for me just talking about uh, the things like you know which really touched me is one of the things which pala shared uh and the another thing which i have already talked about just being resourceful and using uh akashwani doordarshan to like you know dis disseminate the learning uh and just not stopping to like you know what challenges were thrown at us so this is like you know really inspiring for me and it really touched my heart today uh just because one of the things we were talking about that how uh what role people are going to play in building uh, the future right now so i would love to hear about uh how your understanding of your role to rebuild the education system right now has evolved or maybe if there are any certain areas where you feel it got reinforced maybe you had it before and just like you know the conviction it in it has increased a lot so i would love if you could like you know share this in the chat box as well and i would be happy to like you know read it out out
Ganesh has previously written thriving is important for children. Yes. Juma Roy has written, I don't know, like, you know, if this is the response to the previous question, but children are more capable than we think. And we have seen time and time when, like, you know, there are challenging situations, children have come up with, uh, with that fighting spirit and has, like, you know, left us all with that awe uh, that how come, like, you know, these young children are doing, like, you know, so much. <clears throat> I'll wait for more responses. Uh, Dr. Shubha Bharat uh, it has written that immense efforts to ensure the holistic development of children, innovative approaches to meet the unique needs of children. Uh, yeah, I think uh, it's, it's going to be very important now that we start talking about uh, the innovation, like, you know, which is going to come in because there is a big opportunity right now uh, with the challenges that we are facing. Yogita has written, can't ignore any elements of learning. Thank you very much, Yogita, for sharing. Trisha has written, remedies and discussions on student uh, issues by students themselves. Super. Uh, and I would love to hear more about, like, is there anything about your role uh, where you feel after the day two, like, you know, what role you are going to play? Has it evolved now? Uh, are there any things which has like, you know, where your conviction has increased a lot after going through the day to experience and I can wait for another one or two response uh, and maybe then move ahead. Anuradha has written learning happens with collaboration with things that help students to become independent learners. Super. And and I think that's the crux of it, no? Uh, you can't like make a horse, like, you know, drink water, but just you can take uh, it like near the water. And I feel uh, it's very important for us to make them realize or maybe like, you know, create those situations which helps them to be the independent learner. So I think that's the, that's the place or that's the gray area where we need to figure out more that how children could become independent learners. I think the last chat we have is of Chaitra. Uh, one thing which is important to rebuild the education system is going back to basics or, and help the child of any grade to, back, uh, to bring back or to get back their confidence. Super, nice. And I think uh, I was reading somewhere after such emergencies or which is related to health, uh, there is so much of uh, social emotional uh, issues like, you know, which crop in. And I think to build back the confidence so that children can keep learning more, uh, I think uh, it's important to like, you know, get their confidence back. Uh, for me, I have written down three things uh, that understanding of the ecosystem is really important. Uh, and there is a need to work with the ecosystem to create a solution. Uh, I think one of the things which I would have loved more uh, is that how uh, the innovations like, you know, which, uh, which are coming up can be data oriented, research oriented, and the impact is also shown uh, so that others are able to like, you know, run, uh, learn through it and it doesn't become uh, some kind of a speculation uh, and which is going to be like, you know, very important for us. Uh, I just wanted to share one thing that recently we have written a white paper uh, for code to enhance learning where I work, uh, which is more about that how uh, coding or like, you know, technology or hackathons could help in building 21st century skills and it would be available like, you know, on our website. So where we have collected two years of data and how children have uh, grown, uh, grown through different design thinking or collaborative or computational thinking skills. Uh, so we have tried to like, you know, uh, uh, see the impact of around uh, 25 to like, you know, 30 children. And the last thing is just operating with love and hope uh, because I feel, I keep uh, 
sharing and learning more about that how much like you know when we are sowing seeds uh love and hope is important for them to like you know grow more uh tomorrow we are going to come back for day three which is going to be very inspiring uh where the idea is more about how social physical uh, mental well-being of our children and designing a sustainable and effective learning environment now it is important for us uh seeing the gap like you know which is uh even widened up and we have amazing speakers with us uh, uh who is going to talk going on the basics uh, rishikesh uh is an associate professor who would be like you know taking us through the session and i love that there is a mix of different things happening where uh, we are talking about social emotional learning through arts uh, through sports and how like you know it looks like in the conflicted areas uh yeah so it it seems a very exciting day tomorrow uh, and i would love and would request you all of you to like you know to join in for the day 3 uh moving ahead i'll just leave you with the uh two thoughts i had uh i think the first one is uh the lines which bhavna pandey like you know shared during her session uh that nayi ummeed se roshan naya savera ho uh aur har kisi ke man mein ho uh, i love this poetry and also i uh, in such a movement like there is a quote from uh, there is a dialogue from uh, a film called shawshank redemption which is hope is a good thing and maybe the best of the things and no good thing is like you know ever going to die so with that hope uh, among like you know this gap which has been created uh, we leave uh, with the idea of rebuilding the future and i think we can come back tomorrow to hear more what our speakers have uh, in their bucket uh thank you very much have a great evening bye bye